Hello, my name is John Foster Pedley. I'm the Dean and Director of Henny Business School in Africa. That's a large international business school, generally regarded as one of the top 1% in the world. We do a lot of work with MBAs and with executives and on innovation and also on leadership. So today at the CSR conference, I'm going to be talking about leadership and innovation. And how can we do leadership and change? How can we build a better world, better businesses in an unpredictable world and have the sort of leadership that empowers people to be imaginative, to take initiative and to be honest? One of the things about innovative leadership and managing innovative people is that you really have to give them great feedback. And it has to be true, honest, direct and candid feedback. So today I'm going to be talking about candor, what that means. It means openness, frankness, straightness, being very clear. And how that helps people make experiments when they're innovative, either in politics or in business, wherever it is, and quickly learn what went right or wrong. If you have any distortions in your feedback, then you can't possibly do anything real. And distortions in feedback or propaganda allow bad practices and bad leaders to flourish. And we don't want that for our country, for our children, or for ourselves. Okay, talking about skills, why is it important to know uh, a lot about skills? And why is it important to have skills? Skills are often misunderstood. A skill is not reading a book. It's a skill that a skill is something you practice. It's a bit like going to a gym. You can't build a muscle by going to a gym once or reading a book about it. Mm. If you want to develop a skill, whether it's a simple skill or a more complicated one, or a leadership skill or a cognitive skill, you have to practice and practice and practice. Only practice and discipline and feedback will help that skill get better. So skills are hard work to build. Imagine trying to be a better leader or a better father or a better mother, a better child but a teacher. Those things are not easy. You have to practice on and on. And you try things out. The better the feedback you get, the more honestly you appraise yourself, and the more determined you are to improve, the quicker that skill will grow. And in South Africa, we have all the intelligence we need. Some of the skills we need, though, we haven't had the chance to practice. And I wonder sometimes if our culture is really supportive of experimentation. And that's what we have to create. I think we've got to create an environment where those skills, those courageous skills, can grow and blossom. Oh, okay. What would you say to someone who is not here today to actually listen to you speak about skills and everything that you're going to be talking about today? Well, I, th I think if you're interested in developing yourself and you understand that developing yourself isn't just like having a big idea of yourself, although sometimes it helps to be confident, not too confident. And I think you've got to really think about what skills I want to develop. And think big, you know, what skills do our great leaders have? How do they acquire those over time? And be ambitious. None of us know what we're capable of. Often we have this fantasized view that we can do anything we want. It's not like that. But you can do amazing things that we often can't even dream of now. If we step by step start developing ourselves, talking to people, believe in ourselves, but more importantly, believe that we're here to serve something or somebody, that we're here to serve our families and our society. I think something that's bigger than ourselves driving us is really important. That doesn't mean that we have to be small, we can be big too. But nonetheless, we need to have a purpose and a meaning that makes it all worthwhile and allows us to go through the hard times. But we will always fail while we try to do these things. And the failure just means experiment, you need to pick yourself up and try again.